Here's a quick video on how to do both a soft and hard reset of your iPhone. Now you might be asking yourself what's the difference between a soft and hard iPhone reset. Pretty much there's um, a big difference. Soft reset, nothing is erased, deleted or lost, but in the case of a hard reset everything is erased and all content and settings is deleted. Okay, so keep that in mind when choosing which one to do. And let's go ahead and move forward um, with the first part of my two-part video here. Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a short video on how to do a soft reset on your iPhone. And it's easy to do. Okay, before we get started on a soft reset of the iPhone, uh, let me just tell you a few things. Uh, just like all computers, laptops, and tablets, the Apple iPhone occasionally needs a soft reset when something seems not to be working properly on it, or if it's starting to run slower than normal. What is nice about a soft reset is that it does not remove any apps, songs, contacts, or anything else that's stored on your iPhone. Okay, let's go ahead and do a soft reset of the iPhone by holding down the power button and the home key both at the same time. And that powers it down. And then it'll power back on and you'll see the um, Apple icon come on. And um, between 10 and 20 seconds on average, um, you'll go ahead and see that it powers back up. And... Um, Oh, okay. It went into power reserve mode. I got it for a couple of seconds. Let me push the home key here and then slide. And as you can see, I have my home page again. And the really nice thing about a soft reset is that it'll fix a lot of your problems without having to delete or erase anything on your smartphone. Okay, um, keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and move on to part two of this video, how to do a hard reset. Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a short video on how to hard reset your iPhone back to factory defaults. Okay, let's get started. Once your iPhone is powered on, go ahead and touch your settings icon. Once you've done that, then go down and touch your general option and then scroll down until you see the word reset and go ahead and touch reset and then you'll get several options here the first one reset all settings erase all content and settings reset network settings reset keyboard dictionary reset home screen layout and the last one is reset location and privacy so what we want to do to reset this back to default settings factory default settings that is, is tap erase all content and settings. Now I'm going to pause here for a second and just mention that the iPhone occasionally needs a master hard reset uh, because if something stops working or your iPhone has constant freezes, um, sometimes this is the only solution. But uh, let me suggest that uh, you do or try the soft reset first as I showed you in the first part of this video. So let's go ahead and touch that. And you'll get this message here that says erase iPhone. And you'll get this message twice because it wants to make sure that you are sure you want to erase everything. In my case, I don't. And I'm going to go ahead and click or tap on cancel uh, because I do not want to erase all content and settings. Okay, um, that's it for this video. Subscribe and like my video.